Right, hi guys, it's Bob from Greybeard Models and welcome back to the channel. Wow, um, hope you've caught up with my last video uh, with the diorama and the Watt 6 uh, truck. Um, I had lots of really, really good responses on that, so thanks a lot. Um, so we're moving on to the next kit and uh, obviously you would have seen <laughs> from the preview pictures and whatnot and that I did put out a short earlier this uh, uh, in the past week. Um, so I'm going to get on to this uh, Airfix lifeboat kit. Um, and uh, yeah, odd for me. I don't normally do boats, ships and all of that sort of carry on. Um, but I've spotted this and I um, had a friend of mine who had a friend um, who passed away recently and uh, she's had her name uh, added to the side of the lifeboats because they do that now um, if you make a donation and what and whatnot uh, to the Royal National Lifeboat Institute um, they will add your name to the side of the hull which is a pretty cool thing um, so yeah, so I saw that and I thought, oh right, yeah, that's it, that's cool, I like that, I like the idea. And uh, and at the same sort of time, I spotted this kit for sale second hand on, on an auction site and uh, snapped it up. Um, it's been around since about 2007, I believe. So anyway, without further waffling and all the rest of it, let's get over, the, over to the bench and uh, we'll have a quick look at it. Well, I spied this a few months ago and decided to snap it up. I can't remember what I paid for it. It wasn't a great deal. Um, it's obviously second hand. Previously loved, as they say. Box is a bit battered. But inside the box, everything is still in its plastic bags. There's the, uh, the giant Airfix instructions, which are great. Um, the interesting thing about, about these instructions... Uh, they're the relatively new style and started to write notes on colors and whatnot already um, nice options on color schemes and it gives you the 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 stations with allocated lifeboats as at the 1st of July 2006 and it lists all, all the lifeboat stations and their reference numbers the whole reference numbers that are there um, and I'm working down the list and there's actually one at Plymouth and, and as that's my town of birth um, I'll probably go for that one but there's a whole load of information in the instructions which are really quite cool um, I've not seen this before in an, in an Airfix instructions but there's colour pictures in here um, which is quite good and there's, there's more information on those pictures, but it's great to have coloured reference pictures. I don't know why Airfix don't didn't keep up on that. That's a great idea. Um, but yeah, the uh, instructions are fairly straightforward. It's a boat. Um, but I needed to do some search on reference pictures and stuff to find out about um, various colours inside and outside of the, the cabin area. So, anyway, that's the instructions. All of the parts are typical FX, all in one big bag, which is, which is really good. Quite pleased with that. That's not been tampered with. And there's a great big sheet of decals there. Um, so, that, that's all quite good. Um, reference numbers and lines and things and, and whatnot so that'll be good um i think what we'll do is um we'll get the bag open and have a look at the parts um i'll do that first and i'll come back to you um so i don't know if there's been a, an unboxing of this kit online probably but 
Anyway, I just thought I'd have a look at the parts anyway. They're quite well moulded. Quite thin. Thin, like the cabin walls are quite thin. And given that there's internal and external detailing, I think that's quite quite neat for, for Airfix. The hole can be done um, waterline or in sort of on, on, on a stand. So this is the, the, um, the line of the the sort of cut is is along there so it's uh that's quite interesting there's some really quite fine um moldings here so that's that's quite good no sign of any external sort of injection pin marks or anything like that nice section of nice uh, collection of clear parts little little bits of uh, distortion but you know, given given the age of the kit, uh, I'm not surprised. I mean, it's not this isn't a new kit. Um, I don't know when. Um, but hey, I'll have to look that up. I'll have to look at scale mates and find out when this was released. Um, it's quite quite a while ago, I think, because the box has still got like the Hornby products information on it, but. Yep, there's some quite quite nice mouldings here. This is going to be really interesting, as I don't boat, <laughs> I don't build boats. So uh, those of you out there that do, um, you can you can watch me make a complete arse of this. Um, I'll try not to. Interesting mouldings on the on the on the railings here. Um, these are quite quite well made. Um, there appears to be quite a number of sort of ejector, or not ejector pin marks, but but ejection points um, along the mouldings. But really quite good, really quite good indeed. There's a nice piece. There's a piece there. Look. So it's a uh, it's. I know it's in in the hull. So um, if I grab grab the hole, it's um, in this section here. There's a an, an impeller, I think it is, that goes between there. And on the mouldings here, it's in it's in there with a small. Let's <laughs> that was <laughs> idiot. Um, yeah, so it's the, the, the f impeller is, is in there, which is which is quite cool. That's a quite neat piece of moulding. Um, and like I say, lots of railings and things look to be pretty well done. This plastic seems to be really hard. Um, certainly not the same sort of soft to the grey plastic that, that Airfix used to use. This is really quite nicely moulded, and this is obviously the deck. Um, that's the top, top of the deck there. The rear of the hull there, and uh, a little inflatable there as well. It's going, this is going to be an interesting build. I, I, like I say, I've never built a boat before, so this is going to be fun. So looking at looking at the instructions and, and I, like I say I've already been through them um, these are quite nicely done large large format as you can see um, and the, the sort of first thing that it, it talks about is whether or not you want to do a water line model or not um, and then it's sort of telling you how to trim the hull I think you'll trim it a little bit more if you want to do waterline um, or, or not. You keep that. I think I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm really unsure um, how we're going to go on this. But of course, the decision's got to be made really early, right at step one. Um, whether or not to do it as a waterline model or not. Typical airfix instructions, 
um, the part numbers uh, are numbers in circles and uh, color numbers are and a little little color numbers there now I've went through the list of the colors on the side of the box and, uh, and worked out whether or not I've got um, alternative Vallejo numbers which I have uh, and then I started looking at um, any details that needed to be added that aren't actually clear on here so like the internal walls on the rear cabin area are white and the wheelhouse walls are sort of grey and grey shades and matte black and that sort of thing so that's going to be interesting looking at putting that together because that's quite a complex uh, cabin area there so yeah it's this is uh, <laughs> I mean I'm discovering this as I read it to be fair um, and there's lots of things on here they're going to be, be interesting to do I mean going by the graphics you know the cabin or the superstructure is orange but the window seals are all white so that's going to make a nice a nice interesting sort of um, painting exercise not difficult but interesting nonetheless and then it's just all the various bits and pieces that are, that are here and there's a the inflatable that sits on top of the the carrying structure there <coughs> excuse me um, so I think this is going to be quite a, quite an interesting build um, I think there's one or two um, ones that have been ma made uh, that are on YouTube so I'm, I'm probably not going to go in stages but I think I might just build the whole thing and then go from there but uh, anyway that's going to be my next build a bit different from everything else that I've done recently um, but there you go anyway uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next video bye for now